Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Harry and today we're going to check out how to make your Xbox 360 controller work with your Nexus 7. So stay tuned if you're interested. So you'll need a few things in order to do this. First of all, you'll need your tablet, the OTG micro USB to USB connector. You can get this from eBay or Amazon. Anywhere on online you can search for it, or maybe I'll drop some links down below in the description for you to buy some. You'll need your Xbox 360 controller. I've got the one, I bought this one basically for my PC, so it came with an adapter for my uh, PC, so you're gonna need this if you were gonna do that. Or if you don't have the wireless controller, you can do the same thing with the wired controller, so you can try that on if you like. So the thing is, you must connect your USB in this port and connect this to your tablet. After that, we have to... We're gonna try out... Dead Trigger 2. So, as you can see, the light is on in the adapter. We're gonna press the home button on the Xbox. As you can see, it blinks. So, if it blinks, it hopefully will work. So, we're gonna choose play. We're also gonna check out how to arrange the different functions with the controller so we just have to wait for the game to load so we're just gonna do this okay yeah it's the tutorial so we can access the options So you have to get into the options, gamepad, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, just hang on a second. You can choose, as you can see, fire, you touch on fire and then you, you click on which uh, trigger you want it or any button you want it, you know, reload, tap on the button and click another another one from your uh, controller and then that's how it's done. You've got pause, next weapon, movements and you just tap on it and then uh, make the movement you want on the controller and that's it. That's how you set up your gamepad. And you can use that to play. So leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys.